Okay, continuing now. Uh, basically, we're gonna be showing you on the basic principles on how to prune a citrus, right? I've particularly chosen a citrus that hasn't been pruned correctly. Uh, it's it's past definitely it's past its pruning date, and uh, it's it's so clear for us. The earlier you come in and and you correct this, the earlier you guide your tree. You know, the more fruits, the earlier you gotta have a, a good harvest. I'm gonna be now taking some of the canopy out, and you know, there's good fruit there that I'm gonna. It's gonna go to waste. Well, not exactly to waste. Back with all the love, back feeding the animals on the floor, obviously. But uh, you know, I could be harvesting that fruit earlier. The energy spent up there could have been well spent on on on, on the on the trunks that I, that I really need. You know, and and what are we gonna be doing? We're gonna be designing it as well, so I can have an easy harvest. Okay, uh, certain citruses uh, are taller than others, so we we get them really from medium low all the way to medium high. Uh, so depending on what kind of citrus you're working with, these ones here I really want to work with with harvesting them a little bit lower. So uh, some of the basic principles we wanna you know take a step out and really look at the skeleton and see how it's shaped out you know try to keep the right balance uh, it's very clear that this is a little unbalanced here you know it's, it's not so so we're gonna give it a little trim and let's talk about it one second this is quite a spiky citrus get it Okay, so really I've taken the top down and now we're going to look at these side branches, okay, how I might want to balance them out. So guys, uh, here's a good tip for you. When in doubt, don't pull the trigger, alright? If, you, if you're not sure about taking down this branch right now, Start with the most obvious ones. Take a step back. Look at the most obvious ones. All right, so I think this one might go down, but if I'm still thinking about it, leave it for later. Because sometimes once you work around the most obvious ones and you come back to it, you're like, all right, now I'm sure. You know, things will start clearing up because there might be too much information. So go from the most obvious ones to the ones that maybe will go down. So in doubt, don't prune it. Wait a little bit, okay? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to start working with, with, with uh, the stems, the sticks that are inside. We don't want uh, the, these sticks to become, you know, to be pointed into the canopy. All right, these branches, you know, we want them to work out, up, sideways. You know, we want to really work that, that uh, structure. But with citrus, so many, so many... Uh, so many branches tend to point inwards so I'm gonna be really taking these these inside ones all right guys so now I've trimmed the branches that direct it in that are pointed into the center of the canopy uh, we're gonna be considering two more things here Branches that are crossing over, yeah? We don't want them overlapping each other. We really want to choose between one or the other. And uh, little branches that have sprouted too close to each other. I don't want to make it 
a, a clean skeleton. But if I've got a branch here, here, and here, that saturates usually, you know, we can take two down and leave one, take two down and leave one, if you think that's balanced, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and take, a, a, you know, lots of these going in the same direction. I'm gonna bring that back, and also the overlayering, so we, we can follow that a little bit here. See, one, two, three, you know, really, we've got to make a choice. That one's pointed a little bit towards the center, so that's going to be easy. And now I've got two, you know, I can choose one or the other. Uh, just for the sake, I've got one, two, three in the same direction. I really got to make a choice, you know. I'm going to take the middle one out. All right, so we've got one, two, a little bit spaced out, right? These two are going to overlap, aren't they? So I've really got to make a choice here, right? Oh, not yet, but you know it's going to. You know, you know it's gonna grow, grow bigger. So, really, gonna make a choice. So, still, these ones that are pointed inwards. These ones here, one, two, three, you know, one, two, three, you know, I've got to choose. You see, in the beginning, I had chosen to leave this certain branch at the top, but now it's become clear to me that it's got to go. So certain things you wait a little bit and then it becomes clear as, as you go. Right, so as you can see there, you know, we've opened it up. Let's recap on that. Uh, so we're taking, when there's too many stems shooting the same direction, we, we, we trim that. Uh, we don't want them over layering. We don't want them pointing in. We would like it balanced, a nice balanced tree, so it's not the weight, yeah? Uh, one more thing I'd like to point out here is that we have uh, the, these long, long stems here these it's basically it's too much wood without a uh, sufficient leafing to compensate we really would have liked to have had some stems coming out here obviously we can count on that to fill in this area but we have an example where here where I, I was able to come in and trim and leave two stems to really fill this in so we're really trying to fill in where we find that there's more wood than actual uh, fruit production. Okay, so uh, yeah, this was uh, a citrus that was left behind and we're now bringing it back, but uh, I'm comfortable that now it's, it's really gonna thrive and it's gonna invest its energy in the right area. Have a look. All right. So this is the was the pruning chapter. I hope it was um, interesting for you. Bring your doubts. You know, let's talk about Definitely it. Definitely bring your doubts, your experience with pruning. Um, we're really eager to see you in the next webinar. Share with us. You know, anything you got to share with us. Let's learn from each other. Let's let's talk about it also in the Facebook group, right? You guys share amongst yourselves, and uh, let's let's really take this opportunity to 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 grow uh, as a team that's it so from the agroforestry academy crew team sign, sign out, out.